this is John Marie Domino from Dippy's Designs and Decoupage Rocket Girls. And look what I found at the Dollar Tree. This is actually a glass cutting board and it's clear. And that means I can do another reverse decoupage. You can get it to go from this to looking like that. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Okay, now I found these at the Dollar Tree, like where they sell oven mitts and um, dish towels and things like that. They're right there on the bottom shelf, so that's where they should be in your Dollar Tree. Um, they come wrapped in plastic, which is great because um, the sticker is on the plastic and I don't have to try to get that off of the glass itself. Now, before I go any further, I do want to point out that on the label, it does say cutting board. Um, so I'm not sure if you can use this as a trivet for like a hot pot or something that came out of the oven. So I'm going to use it um, as it's labeled, which is as a cutting board. Okay, so we're going to take the plastic off. It's good they're wrapped in plastic too because I didn't see any that had any kind of breaks. So it's good, they were careful with these. Okay, so now we want to remove these little feet because to make it as easy as it is, to decoupage these, you don't want these on. So all you're gonna do is take a screwdriver and just pop the little feet off. And don't worry, I have something else that we can put on instead. After you take them off, you're gonna notice that there is a little residue there. Just wash that off, it's okay. It came off very easy for me. A Little bit of scrubbing and it's good. You wanna make sure actually that the whole thing is really clean. But even after it's clean, I'm going to suggest that you use a little bit of alcohol and wipe the whole back of the plate. That's the smooth side, because that's where we're going to be decoupaging. Make sure that the alcohol is dry and we can move on to the next step. Now, like the cookie plates, you can actually make these glittery as well. The way you're going to be using them, the glitter is not going to be where the food is anyway. So you can get something like this by Krylon. This is called Glitter Shimmer opalint opal it's this is one of my favorite spray glitters that are out there it's very 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 fine so i really recommend it if you don't want to get that you can also use um, mod podge's extreme glitter you can use that as well and that will also give you a lot of glittery shine all right for the demonstration purposes, because I noticed that glitter doesn't always film well, um, I'm going to be using Mod Podge Satin. Okay, that's what I'm going to be doing on the demo. All right, so I have the plate, I've wiped it down with the alcohol, and now I'm ready to put the glue on. And I actually already did that. Here is the cutting board that I have already. This is the bumpy side, that's not the side that I'm going to be decoupaging on. This is the flat side. Actually, this is, I'm sorry, I put the decoupage blue line, it's a little bumpy, but this is actually the flat side. I put two coats on and I let them dry. Now, how am I going to put the napkin onto the glass plate if the decoupage glue is dry? Well, I am going to use the iron-on technique again. Um, this time, I'm using this little iron. My sister gave this to me for Christmas. She gave it to me because I was doing a lot of iron-on techniques and she thought it would be better for me to have a craft iron, which this is, it's made by Cricut. Um, they have the vinyl cutting machines as well. And it's very easy, turn it on. There's not a lot of instructions you have to read. And you hit it again and you hit it again. And now I'm at the hottest setting. So that's the setting you're gonna use if this is the type of thing that you wanna have. If you don't have it, you can still go back and use a regular iron. Um, this does come with this, which is very nice because you can rest it in there. It's made of silicone. You don't have to worry about um, burning yourself or burning the table. Okay, um, it warms up pretty quickly, so we're just going to wait for that to beep. You'll hear. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you the napkin I'm going to be using. Um, it's so pretty. I'm going to open it up. Look at that. And I know I can put this right down on top, and you can see how pretty that's going to be. Look, isn't that nice? Okay, now I'm going to be putting the napkin on upside down because remember, we're gonna be able to see through this. So I have already some parchment paper that I folded in half. I have also have some paper underneath too because I wanna protect the table. Put that down. Now I'm going to take the napkin and remember, 
When we do decoupaging, we mostly just use the top layer of the napkin. Um, it's the printed layer. It's very, very pretty. It gives you more of a sheer look. Okay, so just take that off and you can just put the back plies aside. So now you could take a look at the napkin and see where you want to use. This actually has probably, nope, I thought maybe I could do two, but I can't. It looks like I'm only gonna be able to get one out of that, but that's okay. Just wanna to try to get an idea of where you want it. All right, so we're just gonna make sure you put it down on the side that has glue, which is this side. Oh, did you hear that? My iron is ready. Okay, we're going to use this one here up in this corner. You see, I turned it upside down. Let's make sure that we do that. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. So I have parchment underneath and parchment on top. Okay, see, you know the iron is ready because now it's all green. Now I'm gonna take the iron and I'm just going to go over the napkin like this. It's very, very important that you remember to put that parchment down because um, you really want to protect the iron and you want to protect the napkin. Now I do have to press a little bit harder than with the regular nap, um, not the regular napkin, the regular iron that I was using. But I really did find this to be much better to work with. You know, I'm doing smaller things. Um, this iron really came in handy. And by the way, it is rated five stars. And I have to say, I've been using it for a few weeks, almost every day. And it is definitely, definitely worthy of a five star rating. Okay, I think we got it. Let's take a look. Okay, remember, you always wanna protect your fingers. All right, so let's take a look. Remember, we always check the edges. I'm not gonna pick that up yet. Okay, and you can see what happened. The glue melted when I put the hot iron on it. Now the napkin is attached to the glass cutting board. I am going to just put this down and iron it one more time, especially around the edges, just to make sure that it's down really good. The edges are, I know you hear me say the edges all the time, but that's really the place where the napkin would lift off. And once you're done with this and once you seal it, um, you just wanna make sure that it's going to last. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, edges look good. Nope, okay, see here, I want you to see it did lift off a little bit, but that's okay. The iron is still on. And by the way, this iron does have a safety where it will go out um, off if you're not using it for a while. Okay, so I said about the edges. All right, even after two times, I still had a little edge that came off. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, now you can see that all of the edges are attached and the sides okay it's not too hot i'm going to turn it around so you can see how pretty it is look at that it's beautiful now this is pretty cool it dried pretty quickly already cooled pretty quickly already so now my next step is i need to remove this extra napkin. We don't need that on there. And this is one of our first steps towards finishing this. So what you're gonna use is like a nail file. That's all you need. This is an emery board. And you're just gonna take the emery board and you're gonna go like this. Very easy, see that? And it comes right off. While you're doing this, if you notice that maybe some of the napkin is still lifting, just put it back under the parchment and iron it again. Okay, I'm going to finish taking off this extra napkin. I'm actually gonna put another coat of Mod Podge on this and I'm gonna be right back. Hi, okay, I'm back. I took all the rest of the napkin off from around the edges so it's nice and clean. Look how pretty it looks. And what I did is I also put on one more coat of Mod Podge, which is going right on top of the back of the napkin and I let that dry. Now, before I go any further, I wanna show you what I did um, when I was working on these glass cutting boards is they do slide around, but I found getting just a regular coffee can like this, this is stuff you put under rugs so they don't slip. I just put that on top 
and I used a couple pieces of rubber band so I know that it's not going to slide around and it's just going to make it a little safer to work with. Okay, just a little tip, safety tip. All right, so I put another layer on. It's actually now three coats of Mod Podge on the first two before I ironed on the napkin and then the one last coat that goes on top of the napkin, okay? We're gonna put it back under the parchment. I recommend this before you go to sealing because really it just gives it a little extra protection to do another iron on with another coat of Mod Podge. I just find it really makes it uh, more secure and you get better results. And here's my iron, it's all ready to go. And I'm just gonna go over this again. Okay, again, the edges looked pretty good, but I'm gonna say it again. Make sure that you get all of your edges because you wanna make sure that the napkin is going to stay on. And you know, when I was getting ready for this video, I thought this would make such a great gift. Somebody's getting married or somebody goes, moves into a new home, a new house. This is a great gift to bring them. You can bring a little bit of cheese or maybe some fudge and it can go on top of the cutting board that you just uh, brought for them. Plus it's handmade, which is always nice. Okay, let's take a look. See, that's why you need the parchment paper because there is a little bit of blue residue on top of the parchment paper. Okay. Looks pretty on that side too, right? Alrighty, let's turn it over. There you go. Look how pretty that is. And we're almost done. Wasn't that easy? Okay. Now, after it cools, you can decide whether or not you want to paint the back of the plate on top of the napkin. And it's really okay now, since we did that extra iron, to put paint on this. Now, what I usually do to decide if I want to paint um, something like this, um, it's reverse decoupage, and I want to see if the napkin is going to look better, you can always put a piece of white paper behind it to see how it's going to look. And that actually looks pretty good. I think that I would probably go ahead and do um, a painting on the back of this particular cutting board. It really did look good like that. Um, I'm not going to do that with this one right now because I do have another one that I did because these cutting boards, they come in round too. How nice is that? Okay, same kind of thing with this napkin, which is right here. That's the napkin that I used. When I was done, I did go ahead and I put a couple coats of paint on this. Let me show you what I used that back. I like this paint. It's chalk paint. It's made by Waverly. I never take the paint out of the bottle, by the way. I always put it into another container, and then I just use the paint from the container. And when you get chalk paint, by the way, you really need to shake it before you put it into anything because the chalk paint does tend to separate. Okay, just a little, another little tip. Okay, the next thing you're going to think about doing is sealing the plate. Okay, this is one really good sealant you can use. This is door clear gloss varnish. You can use this. There's also spray-ons that you can use. So when this is all cool, all you need to do is put on maybe two or three coats of this, let it dry between each coat, and now you're ready to put the little feet back on. Or actually, we're gonna put new feet on. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Sorry, sorry. All right, so here's um, a plate I already made. Okay, there it is. I put the uh, sealant on. I guess you can see it. It's nice, it's glossy, it's very pretty, and it has a beautiful peacock on it. Now, to put the little feet on, it's so easy. All right, I have these. These are actually cabinet bumpers. Um, we were redoing the cabinets in the kitchen, and you put these on the doors so that the cabinet doors don't slam, and these are perfect. They're actually a little bigger than the ones that even come on the plate. So you're gonna peel it off, try not to touch the sticky part, okay? Because they say, if you take it off, you have to use another one. That's what the instructions on it say. So you're just going to take these little rubber bumpers <laughs> and just place them in the corners. And it's really important that you put these on because if you're going to be using it as a chopping board, um, you don't, or cutting board really, um, you don't want it to slide around, okay? And that's all there is to it, and your plate is done. Look how pretty that is. 
Um, here's another one I did. Here's the napkin. It's really, really nice. There it is. Now, this one, you know, this is funny. Let me see if I can find it. This is actually made with a paper tablecloth. That's right. One of my friends, Gina, she mailed this to me a long time ago, and I saved it, and I was waiting for the perfect project, and it really came out nice. Like, would you know that that was a paper tablecloth? Um, I don't think so. It really, really, really is nice. And here's another one with Valentine's Day coming up. Look how pretty that is. Um, I have to say that in addition to making uh, this a very, very good gift, if you do craft nights with your friends, this would be fantastic to do. It's very, very inexpensive. You can do it very quickly. It would be lots and lots of fun. So I hope that you're going to give this a try. Look how pretty, look how easy. How can you not want to make these? And if you liked my video, which I hope you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. I have more coming up especially with items I've been finding in the Dollar Tree, and it's all decoupage. Um, there's a little bell you could hit down there um, under the video. If you hit that bell, then you're going to get a notification for every video that's coming up. And you know what? I have another video coming up. I'm going to be using the same little chopping boards, but I'm going to be using fabric. And I'm going to show you how easy that is too. I want to thank Vippy's Designs for giving me all the napkins. Um, please visit their website, www.vippies.com. And thank you so much for watching my video.